Welcome to Linux Server Tutorial. In this video, I am going to show you how to mount and unmount your local and network file system on your Linux machine. While mounting a file system, will allow us to access the files and directories inside a partition. We can able to mount local file system such as a hard drive or a CD or DVD like that. And also, we can able to mount the network file system such as NFS or Samba. Now let's see about how to mount and unmount local file system on your Linux machine. To know about what are the file system is currently mounted on your machine means you can run the following command mount and then hit enter. It will list you all the file system which is currently mounted on your machine. Next I will show you how to mount a partition. Here you can see we have some partitions is created and mounted. Now let's create a new partition and let's mount the partition to a mount point. Now type this command. Now run the following command fdisk space hyphen l. Here you can see the partitions is created on the machine. Now let's create a new partition in this hard drive. So we need to run the command fdisk space slash dev slash stb. Now type n to create new partition. Now mention the size for your partition and then hit enter. Now the partition is created. Now write changes to disk. Press W and hit enter. And run the following command to update partition table information to the kernel. Now type this command and hit enter. Now you can check F disk space hyphen L. Here you can see a new partition is created slash to slash stb. Now set the file system for the partition. Now type mkfs.ext4 space slash dev slash stb1 and then hit enter. Now the file system is created for the partition. Now run the following command to mount the partition. Now type mount space slash dev slash stb1 space slash disk1 now hit enter now type df space hyphen h here you can see the partition is mounted in slash disk1 it has size 2 gb next i will show you how to mount network file system i have configured nfs share and samba share in my server now let's try to mount these network shares in this client machine to mount nfs share on your client you need to install the following package m space install space nfs hyphen utils hyphen y and then hit enter here the package is already installed if you are not installed this package means you can use this command now run this command show mount space hyphen e server ip address this command will show you the available NFS share from the server. Now hit enter. Here you can see the available NFS share. Now run the following command to mount the NFS share. Now type this command. Here this command will going to mount the NFS share from the server IP to this mount point. Here you need to change to your server IP address and then hit enter. Now it's mounted. Here you can see now the NFS share is mounted. This is the temporary mount. If you reboot your system means the NFS share will be automatically unmounted. If you want to mount the share permanently means we need to create entry in FS tab file. Before that unmount the share by typing command you mount space and the mount point. Now the share is unmounted. Now let's open the FS tab file. So type in space slash etc slash fs tab and then hit enter. Here create the entry as follows. Now create entry like this to mount the NFS share permanently and then save the file. Now run the command to mount all entries in fs tab. Mount space hyphen a and then hit enter. Now the share is mounted. 
here you can see next time we'll show you how to mount and unmount samba share now run the following command to mount samba share now type this command to mount the samba share here you need to mention the type hyphen t cifs it is for samba file system and then samba username and here this is the server ip address this is the share name and this is the mount point now type command like this and then hit enter it will ask you for the password for the samba user now type your samba user password and then hit enter now the share is mounted here you can see we can use the mount option in another way instead of mentioning the username here we can able to create a file that file will contains the username and the password for the samba share and in the hyphen o option we can able to mention the file path for the credential for samba user now i have another samba share from my samba server now let's mount the second samba share by using user credential for that we need to create a new file now create a new file and then hit enter here type the samba username and the password now type the username and the password and then save the file now run the following command to mount the second samba share now type this command here i am not mentioning any username i just mention credential equal to slash root slash user credit this is the file which contains the username and the password for the samba share now type this command and hit enter now the share is mounted here you can see this is the temporary mounting if you reboot your system means the share will be unmounted automatically now let's mount the two samba shares permanently in fsd file before that unmount the share now open the fsd file now create entry like this and then save the file now type the command to mount all entries in fsd tab now type the password for samba user and then hit enter now the share is mounted here you can see here this samba share has read and write permission and then this samba share has only read permission for the particular user for the particular share to verify it you can type the following command now type this command and then hit enter now type your samba user password and then hit enter here try to create some directory here you can see the directory is created since we have read and write permission to the samba share now exit now let's check it for the second samba share now type this command now type the password for samba user here try to create any directory here you can see it is write protected since we have only read permission for the samba share so that's all about for this tutorial hope this video is helpful for you thank you for watching